Today, I will explain one of the most advanced concepts in programming with no programming required. So without any further ado, let's get into... Actually, wait, why are we doing this with no programming? Well, people tend to get scared whenever they see sort of programming. But like, you know, programming would just make this entire thing easier, so well, why would we... programming videos weren't all performing all that great. Oh, the programming videos weren't performing all that bad, were they? So, so here's the basic explanation of the pointer for all of you that just clicked on this video only to leave after a minute because I know you're about to leave. A pointer is a kind of ghost value to point to another value in order to save memory. So for example, let's imagine that you're an intern working at Make It Industries who's just animating a scene for another one of Make It's videos. Now even though Make It's videos on average gain around 40 views, it still means that you'll have to spend hours of your time modeling, shading and animating the thing. So you want to make this process as efficient as you can. So for example, when you're adding the screws to the machinery, if at some point you'll realize, oh my, the head of a screw is actually really small in comparison to its length, which make it will hate because it reminds them of just how small the d is. Now normally you'd have to go and replace every single one of the screws one by one. But you might have noticed that I have no footage of that, because that's not how Make It The Free Animation Inter did it. Instead, every single screw was an instance of a different object. So now if you need to edit every single screw, you just edit the original object and boom, done. Now that's what pointers are all about. And don't worry, yes, I am fully aware there are still two more things left to explain. First of all, why pointer? I mean, pointer sounds like something that points to another thing, not like a ghostly kind of data sort of thing. And for that, we'll have to get a bit technical because here's how pointers work in real life. Well, let's create a table where every item will have its index, data, so the thing that actually describes the object, and the information which tells us whenever it's a pointer or not. Now, if we want to add 10,000 screws to it, then the way we would do it is we would just add each pointer, we would mark it as pointer, and then we would point it to the index of the actual object. So from Blender's perspective, it works like this. Whenever it encounters itself pointer, it will just be like, okay, this is a pointer, so I just have to insert an object which it points to. That's why there's an arrow in the thumbnail, because it's a pointer, it points to it. I, I know, shocker, pointers point to things. Uh, programming is incredibly hard and difficult and complex. I mean, what do these names even know, mean, am I right? And now it's time for the second thing, because you see, everything I've explained so far is not a pointer. Pointers actually work on lower levels of abstraction. If you don't know what abstraction is, then go check out my other abstraction videos. Uh, they should explain absolutely nothing. So what's the actual reason for pointers? Well, it's simple. Going back to our screw example, the screw needs a lot of data in order to be rendered in such a beautiful way. But here's where these indexes come in real handy, because once the screw is loaded in, all you need is just a single number. It's index. That way, the first object may take thousands or even millions of bytes to load, but once it's loaded, all of the other objects can be pointed back and they will just take four each. So it's way less. So there we go. That's why... <clears throat> that's what pointers kind of are. If you'd like a different video explaining exactly how they work, not just a general overview of what pointers are, then let me know, and I'll be sure to get in it. Because I'm kind of out of time for this one. I'm doing daily uploads. Well, I'm trying to do. <laughs> Here's the thing, daily uploads are certainly doable. I certainly can do them, but the issue is that, you know, when you work for a couple of hours on a video, just for it to get, on average, like 40 or 30 views, it's kind of hard to keep yourself motivated. <laughs> If you can't in, uh, render hours, it takes dozens of hours actually to finish a video. I have three different videos on which I've been working for two weeks right now. And I still will be working because they just take so much render time for all of these lovely free animations. I mean, heck, this was a hint for one of them going in a different direction. That's a long story. Uh, I'd like to thank Tefta, Ali, Soda, Sailit, Elliot, Stick, Ira everyone for keeping me actually motivated to make this re rig, certainly rig too. Um, I'm just a bit tired at the moment, so I'm gonna go 
uh, I have a Discord, I have a Patreon, I stream every single day for charity. Uh, link in the description, HTTPS console, slash make it up this charity slash where you can go to some my charity and get a state of pie for yourself. Streams every day, it's child checkups, you can go to one like live stream stabs on YouTube, you'll see them, there we go. I think that's it. I'm gonna go now, finish video for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, don't mind that, these are just bottles. I drink a lot.